just want to say hi. Say hi. <laughs> hi. Hi guys. So I have not done an update in a while. It is Saturday, December 5th today. We are at Starbucks right now. So Dan is just grabbing us our breakfast items right now. Um, it's 10-ish, so the mall just opened. And today is $9 candle day. And I cannot miss out on $9 candle day. I looked online and they are all sold out online. So I have to go there. I'm not looking forward to it because I'm very nervous about crowd level, everything like that. Cause I'm sure a lot of other people in this area have wanted to buy candles online and couldn't. And last year I remember it being very busy. So I'm gonna go do that. Um, and I just wanted to get the camera out cause it's kind of like a tradition now of trying to go get candles for $9 candle day. It's a white mocha. Okay. There's no chocolate in it. I'll take it in. Huh? I'll take it in. Okay. Anyways, $9 candle sale. I'm not sure what else is happening. I just haven't been vlogging for a long time, but we've just get, been getting by one day at a time, trying to get our Christmas shopping done. Uh, you know, just kept going with our lives pretty much the same as it has been for a long time now because the pandemic kind of puts everything at a standstill. So, you know, we're still doing pretty much the same thing. So there are a few videos coming up, but um, I just thought why not do a little vlog since I'm getting candles today and something fun to do. So anyways, let's get going. Hey guys, so we are headed home now. It's 4.30 at night. I waited in line for 45 plus minutes at the Bath and Body Works. Um, it was a very long line. It's like the most probably exposure. I mean, we've gone to Bellevue Mall a few times. That was probably the most people I've been around since the pandemic. But I pretty much avoid our mall like as much as I can just cause um, it's, there's no reason to go there like and and risk this was one of those exceptions where i really wanted to get this candle deal that was a lot to take on um and the kids were starting to act up in the mall i waited for the hour got in probably spent like five to ten minutes shopping i made sure i smelled all the smells and got a chance to see everything i didn't look at any of the soaps but candle wise i made sure i got a chance to see everything and I got uh, nine candles this time. I got way more than I usually do. But it was the reason why is because of the effort that I was putting in. I was like, well, I'm gonna wait for almost an hour. I'm gonna buy several candles. So that was kind of my thought process there. There was so many people getting candles. The good thing about it was that the limit of people in the store was eight customers at a time. The only thing that sucked about it was that they did not change the layout of the store at all. So everything was still like all of the shelves and all of the tables 
were still really close together. So they didn't really increase the um, walking space at all. All of the candles were basically in the same spot. So they had two big tables with candles on them. One near the uh, middle of the store and then one near the cashiers. And then they had a candle wall that went like this. And so the eight customers that were in the store were obviously just there for the candles. So I was thinking, oh, eight, eight customers at a time. That means I'm gonna have lots of room to figure out what I'm doing and pick out my candles and everything. But the sucky part about it was that there was like probably, there was four cashiers in the front, cashiering. And then there was like four staff in the front of the store watching the door. And then there was like three staff in the outside of the store managing the crowd. So you also had to walk around the staff that were in the front of the store. They kept restocking. So I was tripping over them and I was tripping over all the customers trying to get candles too. It was very cramped as far as that goes like so there's a few things where I'm like come on Bath and Body Works like you had time to prepare for this you could have had the candles spread out throughout the whole store and so this wouldn't be happening and this is just a little bit chaotic so it was nice that they had the eight customer limit but at the same time like it didn't really feel like there's only eight people because I got through it after that the kids were tired of waiting so we just basically left and we decided to go help with the house. I have not explained this yet, you guys. I have not vlogged during this time, but something that we've been doing to keep ourselves busy, our family bought a rental and I can get more into this later, but we're trying to fix it up and it's been taking some work trying to help fix it up. So we went over to the rental and did some work on it today for three hours. So after we got done at Bath and Body Works, we went over there, did work, and then we left at three-ish, 3.30, and then we just stopped and I got some essentials, just some dinner stuff to make Mexican, and then milk and eggs, and that's it. So now we are headed home because day is basically over. Like the sun's going down, sun goes down really early now, it's only 4.30, and it's already pretty dark. I will probably do some more vlogging tomorrow to make this more of a full-sized vlog. Um, so I will catch you then, you guys. See you later. Hey guys, so you are finding us in the evening on Sunday um, yeah. after I last vlogged. Mom. It's 7.30. Mom, mom, mom. Hey mom, can I vlog too? Hi guys, like we are decorating the tree and I'll show you around. Okay, hang on. Yeah. I'm trying to do an intro. So we went this yeah. morning and we did some more yard work over at the rental that I was telling you guys about yesterday. Okay, so and yeah. that took quite a while. We were yeah. there for three hours again. Yeah. And then we went and did some curbside pickup, got takeout, got some stuff at Walmart. And then we came home and had our pizza and just sat and tried to relax for a little while after working outside all day. We just spent the last, I would say, 30 minutes or so getting our ornaments out to put ornaments on our tree. We have decorated the house. I spent all of last week, Monday, Tuesday, and then a little bit for the rest of the week, just getting the house set, decorated, everything like that. It was a project, especially doing it with the kids around. The only thing I haven't really done yet is decorate the tree. And since Dan is home now, he's not gonna be here tomorrow morning. He's gonna be at work. Figured, why not just get it done? I might be crazy. Oh, the kids are wild. So I actually have all of the ornaments that we're gonna put on the tree, or try to fit on the tree, set out on the table in front of me, and I'm gonna show you them. Rory wants to show you guys a couple of ornaments. So, show them your ornaments. He has a Jack ornament and a Spider-Man ornament. I bought this, like I can't remember what I bought this, but I have it hanging my stocking up, but my Spider-Man one broke, so I used the heart one to be my stocking. Yeah. And Dan is here, like. Your dad? Yeah, like <laughs> decorating the Christmas tree, and I'm holding these ornaments, and we're gonna hang them on the tree, and I think that's gonna be 
We're watching Elf. Um, our internet is not working right, so yeah. we're improvising there. And this is our tree. It's, you know, we have like one of those pencil trees, I guess is what you call it. Um, I love it. I love having a small tree because it doesn't take up a whole lot of space in the living room. But I think I'm getting to that point. I've been talking to Dan, trying to kind of convince him. I'm getting to that point in the next few years where I want to have two trees because we have a lot of ornaments. And this year we're not doing the garland thing. We usually put a garland up here and hang ornaments, but we're not doing that this year. Especially after last year, the incident, the incident with this one, it, it dropped from, from the garland. Mickey's leg got broken last year. And when we were at Disney in January, we just bought a new one. But we don't really want to take that risk with a lot of our ornaments because they're, they're keepsakes. So we're not going to do that this year. I don't know if we're ever going to do that again. We probably will at some point, but this is what we're working with. And we only have a few hung up. This came with our nutcracker. This year, um, we get a nutcracker every year at World Market. For the most part, the tree is bare. It needs to have some work done on it. So we're going to try to do this with the kids. I'm going to show you some of the ornaments that we have to work with. So I've got Dan here, Luna here, and ornaments all on the kids' table. So I have my Keep Mark Roberts elf thing. Rory's playing with measuring tape. So that's going on. Yeah. I have this elf. I've had him for a long time. I got him at Nordstrom's a yeah. long time ago. So I always put him yeah. on the tree. I've got quite a collection here of <coughs> coffee cup ornaments. I love to collect them. You know, I'm a Starbucks person, so I have a lot of Starbucks ornaments. Okay, we'll get you some popcorn in a second. I've been collecting these over the years. So I have some Disney ornaments over here. Just a couple of them. Well, more than just a couple. I love Little Mermaid. Little Mermaid's one of my favorites. So I have a few Little Mermaid. Some stars. I just have stars to fill in. This is cool. I got a Hogwarts. Okay, um, now. Oh, there's another. Oh, this is the one I got this year. The Disney one. And this was Luna's for my mom. This is Pots and Tinkerbell. I like these because this is from the year I was born and then my mom ended up getting Luna this Winnie the Pooh one for Luna's first year. And they kind of match. So I thought that was really cool. A Mickey train one here. Let's see, let's see. Yeah. And then this is our new one for this year. Um, it's the Jungle Cruise Mickey ornament. We saw that and we were like, yes. And this one's really cool. Jiminy Cricket. Loved getting that one. A set of these this year. They're little diamonds. I got these from Target for like three bucks. Just to add some shimmer to the tree. I thought they would be cute. This one we got from the Disney store. I think last year or the year before? I think it was last year. Wait, it says date. 2019. Last year. Oh, this one's one of my favorites. It does the Fantasia. It's really cool. This one my aunt gave us, and I thought it was perfect for the kids. They love Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, so it kind of reminds me of their childhood. I'm going to keep this forever. This is a hand-painted ornament that my grandma painted. So this is like one of my keepsake ones that I want to treasure forever. Um, she used to paint ceramics, so I have a few of the ones that she painted. Our new Disneyland ornament, of course. No no broken foot on this one. And over here, Dan is working on his Star Wars thing. I don't know what he's going to end up doing. He might hang these on a wreath. We're not quite sure yet what the plan is there. And over here are most of my Harry Potter ornaments. So, But right now I want to focus on getting this tree decorated. And I've already talked enough. So we're going to work on that. We'll catch you in a few.
Oh yes, we got him very far. Oh no, we got smashed it. Hey, Nuna, I would play with that. Oh no, he's gonna shoot it. Oh no, Hobie's gonna smash it. Quick. Oh, he's not falling down. Yeah. Hey. Okay, 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 girl. Okay, okay, girl. Okay, okay, okay girl. Okay, hey, you know, I'll open it for you. Oh, sorry, guys. Here, can you open it for Nuna? What do you think Nuna, is inside, back. Nuna? <laughs> but can I look at Nuna's present? Maybe open it with her help with the camera. Here, okay, let me see. Okay. Mine! Let's see, look. You got a card. What's the card you got? Look, you have to open wow. it. Wow. You got big. Yeah, I got a big. Bag. You got a card from Granny. Should we read it? No, don't read it. Okay, you can read it. Nuna, look, peace. You got a small bag. Yeah, I got peace. Peace? Yeah, I got a peace. Look, now we have two of them. Hold your bag up. Look, you have two of them. Stand next to Luna so you guys can both see. Luna, look. hold your bag up. Look, we got two of them. <laughs> we got two of them. Do you need help? Yeah, I need look, help. we got two of them, Mom. Oh, no, the doubles. How do we get two of them? So that you guys each have one. Well, how did that happen? Granny got one for you and one for Luna. Well, how did she do that? She's your granny. But how did she, like, did that? How did she do that? She went to the store and she was like, I want to get one for Rory and one for Luna. Okay. Like, did Granny saw two of them? Like did Granny? The important stuff that Rory's packing in his bag. Santa hat. What else? A uh, doll scarf. I'm a jacket. I'm like Jack hat. Your mom, is that strange? That's a little strange. And light necklace. I'm trying to sit right in there. Hey, mom. Hey, mom, I'm going to play with this stuff. That's why I'm putting it in my bag. Okay. A Santa beanie baby. <laughs> <laughs> can you put it in there for me? It's full, dude. I don't know how you can fit anything else. Look, there's only one hole left. <laughs> I'm trying to get his butt to stay in. <laughs> He's squeezing his butt, right? How are we going to put the red one in there? You're not. You can't fit anything else. Okay. Well, we just have two. Anyways, you guys, we are just about done for the night. I have probably like 10 ornaments. Most of them the little diamond uh, filler ornaments to hang up left. And I'm going to do that in the morning when it's not as chaotic, when the kids are still kind of asleep or just waking up. Um, I can handle that. But Dan and I did most of it together. We were able to hang almost all of the ornaments on the tree. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. I will show you more tomorrow morning. But right now it's about, it's a really, it's like 10 o'clock. So pretty much time for us to start wrapping up for the night and getting ready for bed. Um, so anyways, I will see you in the morning. Hey guys, so I figured I would just jump on here. It's 11 o'clock in the morning and I just finished folding three loads of laundry. 
I got up at 7.30 ish and I always try to sneak out of the bedroom and not make as any noise and everything but Rory like has a subconscious light bulb that goes off whenever I wake up and he immediately woke up when I woke up so it's hard for me to get any time in the morning to myself but got up Rory got up and then I had to deal with his needs and then I was able to make breakfast with the kids and then I started folding laundry and that has been my entire morning so far here it is 11 and it's time for the kids to eat lunch they're hungry they're starting to try to get into snacks so I made them mac and cheese this is just kind of like my typical Monday what I do Monday it's, this is a pretty common experience for Monday so I was just gonna kind of share a tiny bit of our day with you guys since I am still filling up this vlog here we go I have their lunch ready I was gonna show you before I gave it to them this is their lunch it's uh, it's not very green but it's what they like so they're having mac and cheese and some sun chips and I decided to give them fruit snacks and I'm also going to try to get them to eat applesauce and then they have a Capri Sun they have some over there too so they're, they're watching a Christmas special um, that one they're watching the Mickey Mouse Christmas special yeah. and then I'm going to try to carry this and this Okay. So I'm gonna try to get a minute of time to myself. I got you so ready. Come eat. Hmm. Guys, something's not right. Okay. So while they watch that, I am trying to pick up their little messes that they make. That's what I've been doing the last probably 30 minutes. We just cleaned up all these. This, I'm, I gotta put these away still. But there's just like random little stuff everywhere. So this is the big basket of laundry that I just folded. I have Rory's bedspread in the dryer. I'm waiting for it to finish drying. And then I have another load of laundry to fold after this. So laundry really gets piled up sometimes. I'm gonna try to find time to put this away, but if I don't, it's at least folded and ready to go. I just made Luna's bed and I just asked the kids, they had dumped this whole thing out and I asked them to put it away. So they did do that. I'm keeping the house clean all day so that I can leave and go to work. But I do the opposite on Wednesday. I clean the house so that I can stay home and not be doing stuff. When I'm home Wednesday night, I like to actually have a good dinner sit and relax and try to refuel a little bit so that's that's where i'm at now because the weekends are always go 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 busy 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 there's not a whole lot of refreshing thursday dan's home and he and i usually have to play catch up with each other because we haven't seen each other since sunday night so thursday is like almost like the beginning of the week it's weird. I hate my schedule. I really hate my schedule. I'm going to be glad when Rory starts kindergarten so I can stop doing the schedule that I'm doing. I'm really over it. So that's probably part of the reason why I haven't vlogged a whole lot because I'm very burnt out with the schedule that I'm doing right now. I'm really, really burnt out from it. But right now what I'm going to do while the kids are eating is finish cleaning up the living room vacuum the living room and do this mountain of dishes that I have to do from last night's dinner and then this morning's breakfast. And then I get however much time I have left from that before I have to get ready to leave and go to work. That's what I get for myself to either do another project or rest, shower, eat, you know, that's what it's like. So I just wanted to give a minute of my day and a little bit of insight into <laughs> what it's been like. Um, but now I'm going to do some of these dishes.
Like, so we're doing lots of things. <laughs> I've never been doing anything like that before. And I got toys that Mom's cleaned up. I'm watching a Christmas video. And Nina's just, what the heck are you doing? Like, Nina's saying that. And, like, she's playing with a doggy. Like, she's not so funny. And, like, she's so cute. <laughs> and she's so funny. <laughs> and we got a drink from Mom. And we got all the Christmas stuff out. So, like, we have got a lot of Christmas things out. But we need to get more Christmas stuff out so Santa will come. Like, Santa is my favorite person. Like, I love him. And I love Snowman and Santa. It's my favorite, favorite, favorite. Like, I love Santa. Like, it's my baby. I hope he comes to my house. I think he will fall out of the tim chimney. Like, he would, like, Santa will hurt himself. Like, I think Santa will hurt himself. Why? I don't know. <laughs> like, I, we're watching a dog video, and it's so stressed out, and Mom's here holding you, and, you know, like, we found a jack can on the couch. My memory card is full on the camera, so I am using the GoPro. And I have moved on from vacuuming the house. I have my next load of laundry done. Now I want to change the tablecloth because Rory or Luna colored on my tablecloth. And right here, there's also marks. So I'm gonna try with my rag and my OxyClean I'm gonna try to stain treat these and then stick this in the wash and then I have my clean, uh, even though it's a little wrinkled, my new snowflake tablecloth to put on. So I'm gonna work on that. tablecloth is a little wrinkled but I will accept it for now at least it's not all marked up like the other one was so that's done we still need to throw away our pumpkins don't judge me Hey guys, so I just pulled my rug from the bathroom out of the dryer. I like taking a shower and then stepping out onto a really soft rug. It's so nice. I really love this rug. I actually got it from Bed Bath & Beyond a long time ago. It's a huge, really plush rug. I got all of my towels hung up. I have a double towel bar because I'm that lazy that I just like to have them hung up and ready to go for me. For right when I get out of the shower, I just want to grab my towel and not have to keep adding a new towel. So I have seven towels hung up right now. So I'm trying to speed up my process. I actually had the kids go outside. I tried to vlog that a little bit. They've been outside playing for about 20 minutes now, which is nice. I've been able to get more done faster. Um, I cleaned up this area. I watered my plants. I got them put back. Um, I'm going to clean the counters and I have been trying to transfer footage so that Dan can do his advent later. And then I'm also in the process of folding this laundry as I go. I keep pausing and folding laundry um, every chance I get. That way I can get it done faster because it's just, I want to say a bite to eat before I head into work. So let's finish. Okay, Luna had to have a wardrobe change. She, she really derailed everything. She's messy, huh, Luna? You were messy? Nope, I'm not ready. You're clean now. Okay, I'm But I am actually starting to shake. I need to eat something now. 
Um, I'm pretty close to done. I have the kitchen pretty much clean. I just finished wiping the whole counter down. It's as clean as I can pretty much get it. It's as good as I can get it. Um, I wanted the house to be as spotless as possible. It's the best I can do. Um, what can I say? Okay, my sandwich is ready. Lots of protein in there. I cannot wait to dig in and I am gonna do that right now. See you in a bit. Hey guys, I am back. It's 12, it's 2.36. So I am six minutes late leaving. I got all the laundry folded. I did not put it away yet, but I really had to stop and eat or I was gonna pass out or something, I swear to God. Not really, but I was feeling not good. So I'm glad I stopped and ate and I got the laundry folded. There's no more laundry. And I got the dirty laundry put in the washer and I got a quick shower. I was able to wash my body. I showered in three minutes and got dressed. And Luna trashed the living room while I was showering. So I had the place clean, but this is what it's like. And that's kind of what I wanted to do here. I just wanted to show you, I kind of not quite a day in the life, but just like a few minutes here to show you what it's been like why i haven't really been vlogging much um it's been a challenging time for me for sure just trying to maneuver the pandemic feeling run down everything mom life you know all of that but i got a lot done today and i'm looking forward to tomorrow not having as much to do and i will try to pick up the camera more often try to pick it up tomorrow if i finish decorating the tree all right well i gotta head off to work i'll see you guys later bye